One, two. Yes, really good. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Very right, good. All the way back. Ah. One more. One more. All the way. Pump. One, two, three. Yeah. Nice. Whew. Cardio, right here. <laughs> Man. Wow. Three. So we are here at Gym Hub. We are approximately five weeks out from the New York Pro. Five or four and a half? Four and a half today. Four and a half today, four and a half today from the New York Pro. We're gonna put Nate and Ricky here through a back workout. And uh, we'll take a good look at Nate and see where he's at at this point. He's um, he's looking pretty filthy, pretty nasty. He skipped out on 15 minutes of cardio this morning, so I'm gonna torture him and get that out of him. And uh, he'll finish up later on, but we'll get some footage of Nate getting his uh, opinion of where he's at. This is his first pro show, his pro debut, which was also my pro debut. Uh, only 16 years ago. Fuck. That's a long time ago. Um, and uh, I did win that show twice. I did the New York Pro five times. So this show has a lot of meaning to me. And uh, that's kind of why I pushed Nate to make it be his first show. And it's within driving distance, so... Um, it's always tough, always probably the top two now, the top two toughest shows in the world behind the Olympia. So, um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. I think Nate can more than hold his own. And you'll see, Nate's got an uncanny roundness. I always tell him, uncanny roundness for a white guy. He's um, very bubbly. And he brings good condition. He's uh, he's uh, he's an older, new pro, meaning um, he's he's over 40, but he just turned pro two years ago. So he took all of last year off because he started this gym, started a business, had to um, adjust to that, get things going. Now that things are rolling, he's ready, ready to commit, and uh, he has the time to do it. So I'm really excited for him. And uh, one day at a time, we'll see how New York goes. Maybe we'll we'll go up to Toronto, or, or I guess Puerto Rico's canceled, so that's out of it. Maybe we'll head up to Toronto two weeks after the New York Pro. Uh, either way, as I said, I think Nate is going to um, more than hold his own. He's going to be a surprise. He's got um, kind of like Eric Fankhaus' uh, um, calves and hamstrings, so. That'll, that goes a long way in bodybuilding, you know. The lower body's half the battle. So, let's see. Squeeze those. Show us that Christmas tree. There you go. Get your hands a little lower. There you go. Watching Ricky do his set is titillating. There you go. Squeeze. Beautiful. Get a little more stretch. Reach, 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 reach. Pull. Squeeze. Reach, reach, reach. There you go. Yeah. 
Now with this machine, I have my people scooch their hips back so they're not pulling with their traps and rear delts. Like, if they're like this, pulling, there's a lot of upper back. So I have them scooch back this way, and pull those hands low. That's how you work the lats. We don't want to involve traps. We're not doing shrugs. So you can't use a shitload of weight. Left the snail trail. <laughs> you guys must get me excited. <laughs> Nate's putting on his lady gloves. He doesn't really need them. He just doesn't want to ruin his manicure. service for here. Well, if I don't do it, you'll stall like a bastard. <laughs> scooch back, scooch back. There you go. Come on. Squeeze. Good. Yeah, you see, and that's all that right there. Good. How's that feel? Great. Yep. Boom. One. Yep. Two. Ah. Yep. Ah. Two. Yep. One. Oh, yep. Yeah. Good. All right, let's go. Team up. Oh, so I thought you'd take both sides. No, fuck. Yep. Two. One. Hold. Hold. Good. Pinch, pinch, pinch. A little longer, a little longer. Go. Rip. Three, Rip. two, ah. good. All right. One, two, up. Yep. Okay. Get them back. Elbows back. Three, four. Squeeze. Yeah. Good. Ah. All right, good. All the way back. Ah. One more. One more. All the way. Pump. One, two, three. Yeah. Nice. Whew. Wow. Good stuff. This is a Jose workout. <laughs> <laughs> drop set after drop set, but wouldn't have it any other way. It's working. Yeah. All right. This is another unique twist on doing a pull down that everyone can learn something from. Oftentimes you see someone sitting with their knees under this pad and then swinging the weight back. This is what people look like. Doing this. It's not working your lats. It's working a lot of bicep, a lot of rear delt, shoulder. So again, I have you sit back, keep your feet behind you so that means we're only going to be able to use an amount of weight that we can hold ourselves down with and kind of lean into it and pull those hands down in front of you. So all that recruitment. <clears throat> much different movement, much harder. You're not going to be using very much weight. Or you'll eventually, Nate can use quite a bit but most people can't, but it's all lat, and that's what we're working here. There you go. 
Now, if you were able to feel, that's all that. Hard as a rock. Just like Ricky on Gay Pride Day. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Uh. Two, two, two. Whew. Make him perfect. <coughs> yep. Oh, God. Yep. yep. Fuck. There you go. Easy. Pull. Two. Pull. <laughs> Good. Again. Pull. Yep. Good. Pull. <laughs> Let's go. One. Yeah. Perfect. Scooch your hips back. Scooch back. Scooch back. Just so you're sitting on your nuts. Yeah. Don't have any. Go. Four. Three. Two. One. Pull lower. 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 Pull. Good. Yeah. Lean into it. Pull. Good. Just like that. Lean into it. One. Two. One more. One. Two. Pump. Come on. One. Two, three, beautiful. Wow. This is cardio right here. <laughs> Man. Wow. Three, four, <clears throat> so what is this doing, Jose? So this is another um, volumization of the muscle tactic technique. All these reps, rep after rep after rep, drop sets, pause reps, and then stretching, stretching to allow more blood in, stretching to, to allow the muscle to contract and fill up more and more each set. I mean, as you'll see, Nate, by the end here, he's gonna look like a bag of bubbles. So he's, that's what we do. We, attack the muscle with a lot of volume and intensity and then stretch it out to allow for more growth. Come on. Hold it at the bottom. Good. 
Good. Hold. Good. Pinch. Good. Up. Pinch. One more. Up. Pinch. All right. Touch and go. One. Two. Three. Good. So Nate, as we're uh, four and a half weeks out, tell me, when you are at the end of these workouts, right, do you feel like you're losing a lot of energy, you're really kind of having to, to struggle through these, or you still feeling good out? Uh, so these workouts are always a lot, whether, whether you're four weeks out or whether you're 50 <laughs> weeks out, um, Jose's going to make them hard. So they feel how they feel, which is you're, you're at your absolute limit. You know, there's, there's no other way. So it gets harder when your carbs are low and you're, you're doing a lot of cardio, but um, mentally I'm in a good place. You know, that's, that's the main thing for these workouts is I'm hungry, I want them, so bring it on. Whatever we do, it's only gonna make me better show day. So um, the harder the better at this point. Proper fucking training. You gotta bleep that out. <laughs> yeah. Is that your James, James, James Hollingshead. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, James. Great shirt. I still haven't tried on the uh, great sweatpants you bought me. Yes, you have. I have. He walks for around record, downtown Cross and with Jose great comes sweatpants. in a couple weeks ago saying he has a gift for me, and they're gray sweatpants. <laughs> what does that tell you? Hey, you know. <laughs> He wants to watch your belt when you wear those. <laughs> my, my girl won't let me wear those. Let's grow some back muscles. Sit, stick your chest out, pull those elbows back. Beautiful. <clears throat> Good. Nice. Two. Three. Pause. Up, yes. Come on, Nate. Up. Beautiful. Up. Good. Good. Touch and go when you're down. Let's go. One. Two. One more. Up. Yes. Nice work. Good work, buddy. Right here, right here, right here. Don't leave me hanging on camera. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap. We um, had a very productive workout, seeing as we're four and a half weeks out from the New York Pro, and he's on a, in a deficit. Calories have gone down, cardio's gone up. We didn't have to do a ton of cardio. He's never been a huge um, needer of cardio, uh, but we do do it. Uh, we're at 45 minutes a day to now, um, and he gets lean. Fast. So I'm trying to have a balance of staying full and, and round and getting tighter day by day, which is happening. But as you saw, he's still, still really strong. Um, it may not look it to some of you guys out there, but if you came in and tried to do, you know, the form and the rep scheme that we did, um, that, that was some heavy weight he's moving. So, um, yeah, I think he's in a great place. It was a great workout. He's still recovering. We're going to go and uh, hit some posing, show you what he looks like. He's going to put, out a, put on his grape smugglers for you. And uh, what do you get to say, Nate? No, this was, uh, this was a typical Jose workout of uh, a lot of drop sets, a lot of reps, a lot of squeezes. And uh, man, this shit makes a difference, you know. And, and people find out firsthand when they do this for the first time. Oh, yeah. Um, you, know, you can make it look easy, but the first time you go through it, People, uh, people are on the floor, as, as you see daily with yeah. people. People come in, but man. And that whole workout was 60 minutes. That's it. We never train more than an hour. Because if you do, you're screwing around, you're not moving quick enough, and when you get done quickly, it leaves you more time for cardio, for food, to recover, or get back to work. It's just, my belief is there's no need for ever more than 60 minutes, even on legs, maybe 65 minutes. 
for a brutal leg workout. That's it. But no, man, I'm excited. Four and a half weeks out, uh, first pro show, New York Pro. It's an honor to be working with this guy, have him as a mentor. And uh, it's the beautiful thing is I can shut my brain off. You know, there's someone asked me today um, how I was feeling, what the plan was, and I was like, don't even have to worry about it. He was able to tell me what to do. And uh, I know he'll bring me in at my best. And the beautiful thing about our relationship here is he sees me every day. You know, we get to train together like this. Um, he can tell if, if I'm really dragging. Um, you know, I'll, I'll be one where whatever he, he gives me, I'll do it. But he can also tell there's, there's a time and a place where um, you can run someone into the ground. So we see each other all the time. We train together. And it, it makes for a way more productive prep um, doing it how we were able to do it in person like this and having him push me for those those extra reps every time or pull back yeah there's twice in the last month I've uh, I've been like dude we need to go eat so we'd go out to dinner and get steak and key lime pie and uh, but that's only been twice so don't um, mistake it that he's not suffering because he is um, but yeah as he said I'm here to push him when he's ready and pull back when he needs it. That way you don't have to think about it. I call it and uh, it helps. He doesn't even need to know. He doesn't know half the time what we're going to do. And that's the beauty of it. He doesn't have to worry about it. Jose, why don't we talk about, um, you know, uh, certainly you're not picking these exercises out of a hat, right? Like yeah. you're, we've been doing a lot of the same stuff, I'm assuming for a reason to bring up certain things. Yeah. What are some of the things for back like we did today that you've been trying to hammer for me? Well, I've been trying to hammer the mid lat for you. Um, that's where you've needed the most because you get great delts, crazy triceps. The only thing in a rear double that sticks out that needs you know, that thickness is the mid lat, more lat sweep and more thickness through the middle. So for years, he couldn't deadlift, he couldn't squat, so we didn't have a lot of that density in the mid-lower lats um, from, from those compound movements. And now, as you see, he's getting strong in those movements. He, can, he could have done more than he did today. Uh, obviously, we're not going to push crazy at this point, but he can squat. We've been squatting, going up to three plates on squats. Um, but that is the focus. Is the, the, you know, in the pro level, everyone has back thickness, everyone, all, all the top guys, you know. Um, but that's what separates the men from the boys, is detail everywhere. And that's what I want to bring up, the striated lumbar, the clear delineation between the lower lats and the lumbar, and holding width and thickness throughout. So that's it, yeah, there's always a method to the madness. We're not just moving weight. Front relax, let's go through them all. Separate those legs, tight, yes. Stay like that the whole time. Up big, yes. Stay on the legs, stay on the legs. Quarter turn, that's big. The shoulders, that's good. Abs, abs, lock the glute, yep. Quarter turn. Grab the floor, squeeze those hamstrings, there you go. Calves. There you go. Stay on those hamstrings. You look good. Waist is tighter by the day. Quarter turn. Oh yeah, that's nice. Really good. Hold it there. Yep. Five, four, three, two, quarter turn. Front double. Yep. Keep those legs hard, even if it hurts. Squeeze. Oh, yes. Stay up, stay up. Beautiful. Look at that. That's good. Good shot. Great lat width. Good front lat.
Good side chest. Sit down on it. Yep. Bring that leg in. Sit, sit, sit. There we go. Look at that. It's fucking hamstring. Yes. Jesus. Staying on the glute. Yes. Mate, that looks dynamite. Totally different picture. Good. Side try. Do the same thing. And point towards the back of the room. Sit on that hamstring. Yep. Glute. And now grab it. Stomach. <laughs> Glute. Yes. Good, 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 good. Turn around. Rear double. Come on, pull that floor. Get that hamstring. Keep it there. Don't let it go. Hamstring. There we go. Squeeze your abs. Squeeze your abs. Yep. Very good. Turn around. Uh, rear lock. Yeah, that's a tight 217. 